Hey guys and gals, Nary here from Drake Wing Gaming. Some of you may on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Tennis Ace, Shoichi's Path. So, guys, let's go ahead and jump right back in, shall we? Please sit back and enjoy for the next 18 minutes of entertaining, and let's jump right in. Alarm Chan, you are up, and let's go. Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Katsuragi sensei looks me right in the eye, her face neutral and serious for the first time in the conversation. Mmm. Ah, that freaking air got in my throat. Okay. Wow, that's a lot of text. Okay. It is an impossibly generous offer, the kind most could not even think of receiving. The amount of concessions they are willing to make to have your name among their roster is staggering. Infrastructure is also good enough to put most professional tennis trailing training facilities to shame according to your coach. I don't even know what to say. How, how, generous, how generous are we talking? Would you like me to run you through their numbers? I nod hesitantly, swallowing loudly and unsure of how to process all this information. The first thing you must know is that the international students such as yourself fall into a different price bracket than domestic students. International students tend to pay much higher costs as their studies are not subsidized by taxes. Right. In that case, the basic cost of tuition, students' fees, and the basic textbooks and materials comes to around 33,000 American dollars. That is equivalent of 3.5 million yen. What? For the entire duration of college, you mean? She smirks, almost seeming pleased to hear that question being asked. Katsuragi sensei pulls a piece of paper from her desk and quickly goes over it, reading out a few more numbers aloud. Sadly, no. This is just the yearly cost for tuition and aggregated fees. There's also the matter of living costs, student housing on campus, meal plans for the college cafeteria, health insurance. I'm guessing these don't come cheap these don't come for cheap, do they? They do not. They go for an average of eleven thousand American dollars a year. Converted to yen, that is around one point two million. Altogether, these costs are incredibly substantial. And there are also fees for accessing their training facilities, getting help from coaches, trainers, physicians. All in all, you'd be looking at a cost of nearly 6 million yen a year. I choke, unable to handle the ridiculously, the ridiculously high number that is being quoted to me. It feels as if my eyes are going to pop out of their sockets any time now. All of which are being offered in full alongside your scholarship. Tuition, living costs, access to training facilities and staff, relevant fees. All these fees are being offered to you for free. These are being offered to you for good lord. I have a lard I have a hard time believing what I'm hearing. That sounds far too good to be true. That is way too much money being offered to me essentially for free. I have trouble even running the math in my head to try to figure out how much that comes out to with the entirety of a degree put together. And are, are they offering me a three year program? A four year one? Five? Six? Depending on the answer, it just goes higher and higher. M my head hurts. That's understandable. There's a lot of information here to digest. The institution really did their best to put together an unbeatable offer to try and entice you into joining them. To the point where it is clearly foolish to even think about refusing. Yeah. Katsuragi sensei smiles, lifting a hand to her chin and attempting to hide a quiet snort. Yet, I'm pretty sure you're thinking of refusing it. I don't know, I never thought of going to college before. It was never something that was in my plans. I just wanted to go pro as soon as possible because I thought college would be a waste of time I could spend... A waste of time I could spend time practicing. She nods, slowly and patiently dealing with all my questions, concerns, and refusals with a degree of calmness that I'm not used to seeing from her. Maybe that could be true, but as you refuse to be tied down to sponsors, you effectively have zero capital to work unless you get prize money. That means you wouldn't have guaranteed funds to pay for living expenses, rent, food, travel to, travel to and from competitions. Not to mention no access to training facilities, coaches, doctors. All these things a professional, all these things a professional athlete needs to thrive. Am I wrong? Damn, boy, you're getting a golden parachute. No, ma'am. The school is offering to handle all of that for you, and you wouldn't need to wear their logo on your clothes and make pitches for them. All you'd need to do is be enrolled in their institution and graduate from it. That sounds incredibly generous. Yeah. It's stupidly generous, actually. I have no idea how they could even make an offer like this to someone. It sounds too good to be true. Is this even real? Is this some kind of bad joke? Michimaya can I say this both as your counselor as well as my personal opinion. I strongly recommend that you think about this offer. It is far too good for you to waste it away on your pride alone. Hmm. At least take some time to reflect on it. I believe this kind of environment is exactly what you need to flourish again after struggling for so long. It might do you a lot of good. What kind of program are they looking to get me into? Oh, right. I forgot to tell you that much. You're being invited to join their sports science program. It's a four-year-long program and would give you a lot of knowledge you might find valuable in preparing your training regimens, working on your mental health, etc. A nod, 
trying to conjure up any and all memory I have of having heard of this kind of degree before. I think Saya mentioned something about Morosaki senpai getting a degree like that in his own university. I'm pretty sure that was it. Either way, you've been given until the end of the year to give them an answer. Please, Michimayakan, seriously consider this. I... It's alright. You don't need to form an opinion now. You have time to think about it. Clear your head first. Looking into it when you're l looking in, looking into it when you're l when you're feeling less overwhelmed. Thank you. Is there anything else you need from me? No. This is all I want to discuss with you. You're free to leave. Thank you, Sensei. Really. She nods, giving me a quick smile before turning her attention back to her back to her computer and the stacks of people. The stacks of people kept on her desk. The stacks of people kept on her desk. Okay. Paper. Stacks of paper. Stacks of people. Binders full of women. <laughs> She probably she's probably far too busy to give me much attention uh, once my once our matters are finished. Part of me can't help but feel a bit hurt that she was done with me so quickly, but it's not like I wanted to stick around stick around here either. I guess I feel a little bit conflicted. I make my way out of the secondary building, my eyes glued to the floor the entire time. I don't even know how to begin to consider the offer that I was given. I don't I know nothing about checking out universities or anything of the sorts. My initial plans were to graduate and move to the United States to establish a sort of home base there. Sai and I already knew that we'd have family support for at least the first year. We'd have to rent an apartment for us to share, pay for food and utilities, and get access to a basic local gym and court so we could train. We knew from the get-go that this sort of thing would be risky, but the two of us agreed two years ago that we'd, after we'd heard that Morisaki senpai would be attending college at the same time as he maintains his professional career, that we thought it was a waste of time. And yet, when I look at the pro progress Morisaki senpai has managed to achieve in only two years, I can't completely reject the notion either. It's clear he must have had an incredibly nurturing and competitive environment to have developed that much in so little time. What if the university in Canada is the same? Could it possibly be a good idea after all? Ah! There's just so much I don't know. I hate not knowing what to do! I should probably ask Shuichi about it. He'd probably know what to do. Hell, I already know he'll be insisting that I accept it. He's been hounding me for years about how I shouldn't forsake a college degree just because I want to go pro. This would be the perfect opportunity for him to double down on all that. Which probably means I shouldn't tell him. But then again, would it be fair to be hiding a secret like that from my boyfriend? No, even if I think about dealing with this this pushiness would be a, even if I think dealing with this pushiness would be annoying, I can't justify lying to him or hiding things from him. Suichi might be one of the pushiest people I know and might still make me uncomfortable at times with how fast he wants to take things, but he's still my boyfriend. I need to be honest with him about just I'll give myself time to digest the information first. Yeah, that should be a good compromise. While I'm making my way out and walking through the school's entrance courtyard, I see a familiar shape sitting alone on a bench underneath a tree's shade. The wolf is leaning back on his seat, fooling around with his phone. I consider, a, I consider a few seconds whether I should approach him. He hasn't noticed me at all yet. I guess I can't hurt to talk to him. He's fun to talk to at times, like a barely appeased rabid dog. Maybe it's the adrenaline of not knowing when he'll try to maul me to death that I find fun. Nah, I'm giving him too little credit here. <laughs> Maybe. Um, hello there. The wolf glances up from his phone only for a second, his expression not shifting even in the slightest. Shouldn't you be with your boyfriend right now? I, I was called to the faculty office. It's not really important. What about you? How come you're not with your saber cat friend? The wolf blinks a few times, shifting on his seat, scowling unhappily. What, you think we're glued at the hip or something? Ouch, I was just trying to make conversation. He sighs, slowly shaking his head sideways and stuffing his phone back into his pocket. I can't have people around me all the time. I need to be alone every now and again. I don't like feeling crowded. Oh, so should I leave you alone then? You're fine. Stop being such a stupid worry ward. I like you because you have a sharp tongue and you don't take my shit lying down. If you're going to be acting all mushy and weird, then I don't know, whether, I don't know that I want to talk to you. Do you always have to be such a dickhead when we talk? You can't say something nice once in your life? There we go. That's better. Huh? He's smiling now? How come? Wait. Was he baiting me into snapping back at him? What the hell? This dude is so weird. I guess if you wanted to be alone, that explains why you're all the way outside. It's nice here. Plus, I know that every time I try to go to the rooftop, there's a chance you'll be there. You really don't You really don't sound like you want to talk to me. You even come here on purpose to avoid me. Yes, I didn't want to avoid other people when I came down here. I'm fine now, though. Stop being such a nag. You're not a chick. I swear to God, one day I'm going to smack this guy so hard I'll pass out. Plus, I wanted to eat in peace. He reaches behind him and grabs a clear, disposable lunchbox, the kind that you buy in a con convenience stores. Convenience store lunchboxes, huh? Fancy. The wolf shrugs, tossing a container on the seat next to him once again. It gets the job done. Plus, I didn't feel like cooking. Can you even cook? 
I have a little brother, an alcoholic father, and a lazy mother. What do you think? Oh, I... God, I'm sorry, I didn't, uh... Haruki, Haruki leans back in his seat, scratching his neck with the same bored look he always seems to have, even yawning a little. He did nothing. Stop being oversensitive. Congrats on that, I guess. I don't like it's a big deal, either. I think I remember Soichi mentioning at some point that Haruki's father was arrested for being physically abusive? I don't really remember the details, but I guess a lot of things make sense when I think about it like that. They should take care of your little brother really well, right? I try. Brad is ungrateful as all hell, though. Still, I love him, though. Still, I love him, though, I guess. You... you guess. But you didn't come here just for small talk, did you? You wouldn't have bothered me just for that. Oh, um, I guess I just saw you and thought, hey, there's Haruki, I should say hi. Wolf stares at me blankly, his yellow eyes nearly glowing under the shade, cold and piercing, examining me like a predator looking at prey. That's probably the dumbest thing I've heard all day, but at least you don't seem like you're lying. <laughs> How would you even be able to tell? The deal with lie, the deal with lie, you deal with liars a whole lot, and you get used to noticing. I'm pretty good at telling when someone's lying to me, their face and body says a lot. You are super easy to read, too. Damn it! does everyone have to tell me I'm easy to read? I'm out of friggin' books, I'm trying to read me. How's the blue dog, anyway? You two having a jolly good time? He snorts as if he found his own joke incredibly funny. I want to feel uncomfortable at him asking me about it this again. But all I can focus on is the fact that Shuichi was apparently upgraded from the gay dog to the blue dog. Progress? I am... Why does that stuff even interest you so much? Haruki stares blankly for a few seconds, his eyes darting left and right and scanning my face. After several moments of silence, he finally breaks eye contact by shrugging. I don't know, maybe since I had a part in getting you two together, I might be interested in knowing how's it, how it's going. That's not a valid reason. Can it be you just like to gossip? Hell no, fuck off with that shit. I don't even know anything else about you two, just want to know about the dog. But why? Dude, you're so strange, seriously. Ugh, he's just gonna keep hounding me for an answer until I give him something. This isn't even the first time this thing has happened, so I already know how it'd go. <sighs> he can be so annoying and insistent when he wants to be, like a dog with a bone. Which I'm sure he'd lunge on me if I ever said that to his face. Things have been good. I don't know why you're even so interested, I, but, but there you go. We've been enjoying our time together quite a bit. Happy? I don't think it was possible for him to scowl any more than I've seen him do before, but this moment certainly proves me wrong. The look of pure disgust on his face all of a sudden is shocking. Why does he look so irritated by what I just said? And again, I guess he might be just be annoyed that I didn't give him anything to tease me with. He certainly does seem to be that way most of the time. Blah, sappy couple stuff. I was hoping for a little bit more and a little bit more interesting. Seriously, why do you even care? I already told you. Are you deaf or something? Jesus, if being a f was wasn't bad enough, must not strangle him. What else is going on with you two, though? You guys fucked yet? Ah! Why am I being asked this question by him again? Didn't you already ask me this once before? Yes, but you said you two hadn't yet. Now there's a chance you might have since it's been a while. Spill. No, I will not spill! This isn't any of your business. This is way beyond what might be your business. He blinks a few times, his eyebrows laying flat atop his eyes. The edge of Haruki's lip twitches a little, making a fang visible for only just a second. Oh, is this just your way of telling me you're too embarrassed to say yes? So what? What does it matter to you, what does it matter to you that we have? You don't need to be asking me about this stuff. Wolf stares blankly at me, all traces of humor having completely disappeared from his expression. I thought I realized that while I was trying to get him to stop asking me, I accidentally revealed a piece of information that I hadn't meant to. No, I didn't mean. Was he a good fuck? What? My eyes go so wide that they start to hurt a little bit. The face turning redder than it ever has in recent memory. His eyes are completely neutral, no hint of a joking tone or expression. You heard me, is he good or is he good in bed? No, 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 no way, I'm no way I'm answering that. Why the hell do you want to know that? Why are you so interested in our fucking sex life? Stop being a weirdo! His eyes go wide, his mouth hanging open ever so slightly, staring at me with disbelief. He looks down and away from me, biting his lip. Without another word, he gets up from his seat, grabbing his empty, dirty lunchbox and carrying it with him. I'm heading out now. What? Why? What's this all of a sudden? What? You only wanted to talk to me until you could get some information and that then that's it? Are you kidding me? What's going on here? Doesn't matter. He walks past me, bumping against my shoulder, showing no sign of stopping or caring about it. Why are you in a bad mood all of a sudden? Hey, Haruki! Haruki, can answer me! For fuck's sake, you're way too needy. I have better things to do with my day than playing around with your... Phew, playing around with your ass. Playing around with your gay ass. 
Go get your boyfriend or whatever and stop bugging me. I told you I wanted to be alone. I watch him walk away from me, st stomping the ground as he does so. I'm left far too stunned to even react to it at all. This was way too weird. What the hell happened just now? The curiosity itself was already a bit strange from the get-go, but... Now the sudden mood swing? Did I do something? He's never behaved like this before. I'm standing around and trying to understand just what the fuck happened. The bell rings, snapping my attention back to the real world. Shit! I have to rush back to the main building. I need to get back to class as soon as possible, since the teacher that has the next period is super annoying about this kind of thing. A few hours later. With the end of her classes for the day, students begin moving out in droves, heading out to their clubs, homes, or to hang out with their friends after class. Ah, there's a game called After Class! I finished organizing all my things before I head out, making sure to check my tennis bag one last time to see if everything is in order before I leave. I feel so completely lost with most of what's been explained in class today. June sighs and whines pitifully sprawled over his desk. You were out for a full week. I guess that much is to be expected. You think you're going to be all right? Yeah, I'm glad yako san gave me all those in-depth notes so I could study from them. She even made footnotes and simplified explanations to help me understand. That's good. It's no secret she's the best note taker in class. People usually always go to her to ask for copies of her notes for that reason alone. But of course, given her personality, that usually comes accompanied with having to survive her teasing them for needing it in the first place. I remember asking for it for the first time last year, and now she gave me that whole foo 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 laugh and started prodding and poking me with uncomfortable questions just to get a bit of an amu just to get a bit of amusement at my expense. She's a great person, but her sense of humor can grind my gears sometimes, so I made sure to never ask her for anything like that afterwards. I think her only weakness is the history subject. Although that might just be because she can't adopt she can't adapt to any kind of history that is taught by Shima Sensei. That was for sure a really nice thing for, for her to do. She doesn't uh she doesn't usually let she doesn't usually let people have her notes without making fun of them for a bit first. Huh? Really? She's never made fun of me like that before. I know that just kind of that just makes me bitter over the unequal treatment. Hmm, are you heading for practice today, Yuichi-san? Yeah, and the next competition is going to happen soon. So I can't afford to slack off now. Ah, I see. Good luck with practice, then. Why are you looking so down? Aren't you gonna head to the music room to practice yourself? I thought, you, I thought you'd be hyped about that. My parents forbade me from it. What? How come? They said I needed to focus on resting this week and all. And they think I don't listen to my body when it tries to give me warning signs. <laughs> Yuichi-san? Oh, I'm sorry. Were you expecting me to disagree with them over that or something? I'm actually on board with this. Uh, that's so mean, but I want to practice. And it's exactly this attitude of yours that made me uh, made them forbid you from it. All right, guys, I'm on. Pause it right here. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, bring that notification bell. Like a super thanks for a tip if you can. It always helps. Until the next video, I love you all. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!